हेलो एवरीवन होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम अंजना फ्रॉम लर्नो हब द फ्री लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म वे कैन स्टडी मैथ साइंस एंड एसएसटी एब्सोल्युटली फ्री एट lernohub.com इन टुडेस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आईसीएसई क्लास 10 मैथ्स चैप्टर 24 measures of central tendency we'll be discussing the portion media in the previous classes we have discussed about mean mean of raw data group data and tabulated data we'll be studying median of these data and solve questions from exercise 24c hope you all have revised the previous portions yes so let's see what median is median what is median here you can see five children and a grandmother i'm asking you to find the mean okay i'll give the ages of these children 5 6 7 8 9 and this grandmother is 60 years old what is the mean then how to find mean we have studied in the previous class we need to find the mean of their ages what do we get 5 plus 6 7 plus 8 Plus nine plus sixty whole divided by six. How did you get this? We should take the sum of values divided by the number of people. This is how you will find the mean. Then what is the mean in this case? Mean will be equal to five plus six plus seven plus eight plus nine plus sixty. When you add, you will be getting ninety-five divided by six. What is the answer then? You will be getting. Fifteen point eight three three, approximately equal to sixty. Okay, now take a case when you have to find a book for these people. Okay, here all of them are going to a library and choosing just one book from there. Okay, it should be in such a way that this book. This based on the ages of these children. Mostly, children of age five, six, seven, eight, and nine will like some story books or some comic books, something like that. What about the grandmother? She needs some novel, right? Okay. So when you check their ages, here we got the mean sixteen. By taking the mean, if you take a book for sixteen year old child, will it be helpful for any of these? No right, sixteen years. This is a teenage. A teenage child will not be liking a book that the grandmother like or the children's like. Okay, in that case, median will help us. Let's see what median is. Now, to find median, what you have to do is you have to arrange the ages of these children and grandmother. That is, all of these people in an ascending or descending order. Okay, when you arrange in ascending order, you will be getting five, six, seven. Eight, nine, sixty. Okay, then take the middle value. If you take the middle value, you will be getting the age in which age group the book which we select should belong. Okay, so here five, six, seven, eight, nine, and sixty. Middle values are we have two middle values. Now, if you take other numbers, for example, I'll give. Use some numbers: one, two, four, eight, nine, thirteen, and fifteen. Okay, you have seven values. If you have odd numbers, that is odd numbers, we are having. In that case, finding median is easy because here we have odd numbers, and this eight belongs to the middle. Okay, to the left you have three numbers. To the right also you have three numbers. But this is not the case. Here we have two numbers, right? In the middle we have two numbers. Let's arrange in the descending order: sixty, nine, eight, seven, six, five. So arranging in descending order again, you will be getting eight and seven in the middle. Okay, in those cases where you have even numbers. When you have even numbers, you will be taking the middle two and take the average of it. Here, seven and eight. What is average? How to find average? Seven plus eight divided by two. What is seven plus eight divided by two? Fifteen by two, which is seven point five years. Okay. So when you take a book from the library for a seven point five years child. 
it can be used by at least these five children. Okay, grandmother cannot use it, but at least these five children, it will be helpful. So this is how median will help us. Only one person is disappointed. But when you take the mean, what happens? None of these children will be helpful with that book. So in this case, you need to find the median. Okay, so 7.5 you are getting. If it is the, in the descending order again, 8 plus 7 is 15 divided by 2, 7.5. So when it is odd, it is very easy to find. You have to just take the middle values. When it is even numbers, you will be having two middle values. You need to take the average of it. Let us define median. Median is the middle number when data are arranged in a numerical order. Numerical order means either in the ascending order or descending order when data is arranged. The middle value is called the or the middle number is called the median. Now, in case of odd and even numbers, for n is odd, in that case, median is equal to n plus 1 divided by 2 term. Okay, let's take an example. I'll give you some values. 13, 3, 5, 9, 15, 17, 2. So here you have 7 values. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 values. Okay, 7 is odd. 7 is odd. In that case, we will be taking n plus 1 by 2 term. n plus 1 by 2 term will be the median. Okay, here n is equal to 7 which means 7 plus 1 by 2 term. 7 plus 1, 8. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. So, 4 term will give you the median. What is the 4th term in this case? 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the fourth term. Fourth term is 9. In this case, median will be equal to 9. Okay. First term, second term, third term, fourth term. Clear? Now, when it comes to the case of even, in case of n even, we'll be having median is equal to n by 2 term plus n by 2 plus 1 term divided by 2. Okay. Just take this example. Here we have 6 values. 6 is even. Okay, what is n? n is equal to 6. Then 6 by 2 term plus 6 by 2 plus 1 term divided by 2. What is 6 by 2 term? Here 6 by 2 is equal to 3 which means we have to get the third term. Third term plus 6 by 2, 3, 3 plus 1, 4, fourth term, fourth term divided by 2. What is the third term in ascending order or descending order? Third term here it is 7, 7 plus fourth term is 8 divided by 2, 7 plus 8 is 15, 15 by 2 and that is 7.5, okay, 7.5, clear? If you are taking in the descending order, then the third term will be 8 and the fourth term will be 7. Understood? Clear? Let us take an example to understand the median of raw data. That means which, uh, where some values will be given and you have to find the median of these values. Okay? Here the values are 7, 12, 15, 6, 28, 4 and 10. The first step is you have to find what n is. How many values are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Therefore, n is equal to 8. Now, 8, you know, is even or odd. It is an even number. Okay, n is equal to 8 and 8 is an even number. So, the next step, we have to arrange either in ascending order or in descending order. So, do remember one thing. First, keep account of how many numbers are there. After writing in ascending or descending order, again count and confirm there are 8 values. Okay, here the smallest number is 4. We'll arrange in the ascending order. Smallest is 4. Then, the next 5 is not there. We have 6. 6. After that, 7. 8. Then, 10. 12. 15. 20. Now count and confirm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 numbers. Here we have even numbers. Therefore, which formula we will be using? Median will be equal to 
median is equal to n by 2 term plus n by 2 plus 1 term divided by 2. Okay. Here, what is n? n is equal to 8. Therefore, 8 divided by 2 term plus 8 by 2 plus 1 term divided by 2. What is 8 by 2? 8 by 2 is equal to 4. Fourth term plus 8 by 2 is 4. 4 plus 1, 5. Fifth term divided by 2. Fourth term. Here count. First term, second term, third term, fourth term. Fourth term is 8. 8 plus. Fifth term. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fifth term is 10. Divided by 2. 8 plus 10 is equal to 18. 18 by 2 and that is 9. Therefore, in this case, the median is equal to 9. Got the value of median? Here we have even numbers. Therefore, we have used n by 2 term plus n by 2 plus 1 term divided by 2. Okay, clear? This is how you will find the median of raw data. Next, we'll take example for median for a tabulated data. That is, a table is given here. For this case, we'll be finding the median. The weight of 45 children. 45 means n is equal to 45. In a class, we're recorded to the nearest kg as follows. Here, weight in nearest kilograms is given and number of children, 46. So, weight is 46 for 7 children, 48 for 5 children, 50 for 8 children, 52 for 12 children, 53 for 10 children, 54 for 2 children and 55 for one child. Okay. Now the first step here is you have to construct a table. In the table you will be having weight in nearest kg, second number of children. It is nothing but the frequency and you will have to find the cumulative frequency. So the third column will be cumulative frequency. Okay. So this is our table. Now fill the table. Weight. Weight of children 46, 48, 50, 52, 53, 54 and 55. Okay. Next the frequencies. That is number of children. 7, 5, 8, 12, 10, 2, 1. Next cumulative frequency. How to find cumulative frequency? To find cumulative frequency you just need to keep on adding. So first it will be 7. Next 7 plus 5, 12. 12 plus 8, 20, 20 plus 12, 32, 32 plus 10, 42, 42 plus 2, 44 and plus 1, 45. What does this mean? Here, the children whose weight is less than 48 or equal to 48 will include the weight 46 as well. So, there will be 12 children. That is, this 5 children who are having the weight 48 kg and the 7 children whose weight is 46 kg. Now, if you take 32, okay, this cumulative frequency 32. It includes all the children whose weight is 52, 50, 48 and 46. That is, including 52 and less than 52. Okay. So, this is how cumulative frequency is. Now, let us find the median. To find median, here we have n value is equal to 45. 45 we know is an odd number. Okay. In case of odd number, what is median? Median is equal to n plus 1 by 2 term. Put the value n is 45. 45 plus 1 divided by 2 term. Okay, 45 plus 1, 46. 46 by 2 term and that is 23rd term. Okay, 46 by 2 is 23. 23rd term. Where does this 23rd term come? Here we have 7, 12, 20, 32. So, this 20. 3. 23rd term will be between 20 and 32. It is about 20. Sure. Okay. So, about 20 
that is from the 21st term all the children are having weight 52 this you are right about 20 that is 20 20 student will be having weight 50 but that from the 21st 21st term you will be having 52 okay so 21st 22nd 23rd 24th everything up to 32 will be having the weight 52 which means in this case the median is equal to 52 that is the 23rd term here the 23rd term is 52. Remember 23 lies between 20 and 32. 20 is less than 23. Okay. So above 20 that is from the 21st term all the values all the cumulative frequency you have to check will be having weight 52. Clear? So this is how you will be finding the median for tabulated data. You need to remember you will first have to find the cumulative frequency and using the cumulative frequency we are finding the median. So next example, we'll be finding the median for group data. We know to find the median for raw data and the median for tabulated data. Group data, the class intervals will be given. Find the median for the following distribution. Here the class intervals and frequencies are given 0 to 10, 5, 10 to 27, 20 to 30, 10, 30 to 48 and 40 to 55. Okay, so this is the table. In the first step, we will have to construct the cumulative uh, frequency table. Here you have the cumulative frequency table, first column class interval, second column frequency and the third column cumulative frequency. So let's calculate the cumulative frequencies. Class interval 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50. Okay. Now the frequencies we have 5, 7, 10, 8, 5. Next, the cumulative frequency. How to find cumulative frequency? Keep adding. First, 5. 5 plus 7, 12. 12 plus 10, 22. 22 plus 8, 30. 30 plus 5, 35. Okay. Which means here n value will be equal to n is equal to 35. Okay. Now, here to find the median for group data, we will be using graphs. Okay, so graph that is plotting graph between the upper limits of the class intervals and the cumulative frequency will be constructing a graph. Cumulative frequency will be on the y-axis and the upper limits of the class interval will be on the x-axis. After constructing the graph, this graph will be helping us to find the median. Okay, so let us construct the required graph. Take the x-axis and y-axis. So here we have the x-axis. And this is our y-axis. Okay. On the x-axis, we are taking the class interval. And on the y-axis, we will be taking cumulative frequency. Okay. Here, let us take intervals. This is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, up to 50. You will you can put 60 just up to 50 is okay. Now this means we are taking 1 centimeter x-axis scale is 1 centimeter is equal to 10 units. Okay. What about the y? y-axis? 1 centimeter will be equal to here check the values 5, 12, 22, 30, 35. 35 should be included. Okay. Remember 35 should be included. Your graph, your y-axis should be in such a way that 35 is the highest value and it should be included. Okay. So let's try 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35 cannot be included here. So let's take this as 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, this is enough. So, here again, y-axis 1 centimeter is equal to 10 units. Now, we need the values. That is upper limit. First, to plot the points, you will have to take the points. Upper limit is along the x-axis. So, 10 and the cumulative frequency along the y-axis. Okay, the coordinates of the first point should be 10, 5. Where do we have 10, 5? Here we have 10 and 5 will be lying between 0 and 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here we have 5 and this is a point. Okay, 10, 5. Next, you need to find 
y axis 12 so here we have 12 and 20 so this is our second point third point 30 is upper limit 22 is a cumulative frequency 30 here and 22 22 is here okay so this is the point we got the third point next the fourth point 40 is the upper limit and the cumulative frequency is 30 40 30 40 is here and 30 is here Okay, next 50 and 35, 50, 35, this is 50 and 35, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so here you have 35. Okay, next draw free hand curve, joining all these points, so this we call an agai, okay. So this is an agai which is drawn, next to find the median. Here we have n is equal to 35. So the median will be equal to n plus 1 by 2 term. Why? Because here the n value is odd. Okay. Therefore 35 plus 1 divided by 2 term. What is 35 plus 1? 35 plus 1 36 divided by 2 18. We need to find the 18th term. Now let's see how the graph will help us find 18th term. Okay. Where does 18 come? That is cumulative frequency 18. Here just below 20. 19, 18. Okay. Here we'll be having 18. Okay. Now draw a straight line from here to this curve. Okay. So this is the required straight line okay now at one point this straight line will be meeting the curve from that point draw a perpendicular to the x-axis so this is the perpendicular drawn you will be getting a point where this perpendicular touches the x-axis this point now find what the value is this point will be your median here we have 20 and 30 the perpendicular lies the point lies between 20 and 30 now count 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 so the value 27 is your median in this case median is equal to 27 clear median is 27 understood how we will be finding on the x-axis take the class interval y-axis take the cumulative frequency with the upper limit of the class interval and cumulative frequency find the coordinates plot all the coordinates join the points with a freehand curve after that find what the median is that is the term okay that is here 35 35 plus 1 whether it is odd or even you have to find it you need to find the 18 term in this case take where the 18 comes on the y-axis from there draw a line straight line to the curve meeting point draw a perpendicular at this point you will be having the median clear so the next topic that we have to discuss is quartiles okay quartiles are those values of the variant which divide the total set of data in four equal parts so we know that median or the middle value will divide into two equal parts here if you have some values say 2 4 9 15 17 okay i have put them in the ascending order this 9 what does 9 do 9 divides the whole data into two equal halves. Here we have two values. Here we will be having two values. Now consider the straight line. Okay. Let's call the straight line AB. So here when I take a point, this point will be the middle point. And this middle point can be called the median. Okay. Or you can call it the middle quartile. Middle quartile median or middle quartile and this is given as q2 okay now we have divided the line a b into two equal halves and q2 is a point which divides the line a b into two equal halves now i need to find a point somewhere here which divides the first half into two equal halves okay that is a q2 should be divided into two equal halves you will be having a point here okay now 
Again, I'll take a point somewhere here, which divides the second half into two equal halves. Q2 B is divided into two equal halves. Okay, I'm representing it as Q1 and Q3. So what does Q1 do? Q1 here, this is just the one by fourth of AB. Yes, if you have a circle, you divide it into half. This is half portion, one by tooth portion, and this is one by tooth portion. Then this part I'm dividing into half, which means this becomes one by tooth portion of the one by tooth portion. Yes, half portion of the half portion, which means this part will be one by fourth. Okay, of the whole circle, this portion is one by fourth. If you take a pizza, this is what happening. The pizza, this portion will be one by fourth. This is 1 by 4th. Again, if you divide this portion will be, this portion will be 1 by 8th. Same here. What does Q1 do? Q1 is a, a point such that this AQ1, this portion will be just 1 by 4th of AB. Okay. Now, we know how to find median for odd and even cases. We know to find median. And median is a middle quartet. How do we find median? If n is odd, then median will be n plus 1 by 2 term. Okay. And if n is even, median will be n by 2 term plus n by 2 plus 1 term divided by 2. So, this is about the Middle quartile. Now this Q1 and Q3 are called lower quartile and Q3 is a upper quartile. Okay, lower quartile and upper quartile. So what does lower quartile do? Lower quartile divides the median and point A. These two in equal halves and Q3 Q2 and B is divided into equal halves. This is what upper quartile and lower quartile is. Lower quartile is represented as Q1 and upper quartile is represented as Q3. Okay. Again, we'll be having cases for odd and even n values. If n is odd, if n is odd, then lower quartile will be equal to n plus 1 by 4th term. Okay. n plus 1 divided by 4th term is a lower quartile. Q1. Okay. Q1 will be equal to n plus 1 divided by 4th term. We know middle quartile or median is equal to n plus 1 divided by 2. When it comes to the lower quartile, it will becomes n plus 1 divided by 4th term. And when n is or the upper quartile Q3, upper quartile is equal to n plus 1 by 4. Before that, you will have to put a 3. 3 into n plus 1 by 4th term. Because we know this point comes at the 3 by 4th portion of AB. So, 3 by 4 into n plus 1 term will give us the upper quartile Q3. Okay. So, this is the case when n is odd. Now, when n is even, when n is even, you will be having the lower quartile Q1 is equal to n by fourth term. You just need to find the n by fourth term. And Q3, upper quartile Q3 will be equal to 3n by fourth term. Okay. So, understood what middle quartile, upper quartile and lower quartile is. Next, you have one more thing which is the inter quartile range. This is nothing. You will find the Q1 and Q3 values. That is the lower quartile and upper quartile. And just find the difference of these two. That is subtracting the lower quartile from the upper quartile. Q3 minus Q1 will be giving you the interquartile range. Okay. So, this is interquartile range. Q3 minus Q1. You know how to find middle quartile 
lower quartile, upper quartile, when n is odd and n is even. After finding this q1 and q3, you can find the interquartile range which will be equal to q3 minus q1. On solving problems, we'll understand these in detail. Let's take some examples. So let's take an example from the following frequency distribution table. Find lower quartile, upper quartile and interquartile range. So for this, you have to first draw a graph. That is, we have to plot the ogive. Okay, here the class intervals and frequencies are given. You have to construct a cumulative frequency table first. Okay, class interval is the first column, second frequency and the third cumulative frequency. Okay, class interval 5 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25. 25 to 30 and 30 to 35. Okay. Now the frequencies 3, 4, 6, 9, 7, 1. How to find cumulative frequency? You just need to add these 3. 3 plus 4, 7. 7 plus 6, 13. 13 plus 9, 22. 22 plus 7, 29. And 29 plus 1, 30. So here n is equal to 30. Okay, we need the lower quartile, upper quartile and interquartile length. How to find the lower quartile? You will be having lower quartile Q1. Q1 will be, this is an even number. In case of even number, it is n by fourth term. n by fourth term. Okay, n value is equal to 30, 30 by 4. 30 by 4th term and that is 7.5 okay 7.5th term next we need the upper quartile upper quartile q3 q3 will be equal to 3n by 4th term 3n by 4th term okay here n value is equal to 30 therefore 3 into 30 divided by 4th term. How much do we get? We know 30 by 4 is equal to 7.5. 7.5 into 3, you will be getting 22.5. Okay. 22.5th term. Now we will plot the graph. Okay. Here take the x-axis. On x-axis, we will be giving the class interval. Okay. Then the y-axis. On y-axis, we will be having cumulative frequency. Okay. Now here, check the intervals. 5 to 10, 10 to 15. So, we will be taking 5, 10, 15, 20. What values before 5 doesn't matter. Therefore, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. We need up to 35. Okay. Here x axis 1 centimeter is equal to 5 units. 5 units. Now the y axis 1 centimeter is equal to check the values. We need up to 30. 30 should be included. We will be again taking 5, 10, 15, 20. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. 1 centimeter is again equal to 5 units. Now, take the upper limits and the cumulative frequencies. Upper limit 10, cumulative frequency 3. We need the point 10, 3. X coordinate 10, Y coordinate 3. Okay. Here we have 10. Now, 3, 1. Here each Point will be 0 0.5, 0 0.51, 1 1.52, 2.53. Okay, from 3 x axis, x coordinate 10. So, this is the point. Next, we need 15 and 7. Here we have 15, 7. This is 5, 5.56, 6.5, 7. So, this is the point. Next, 20 and 13. Where do we have 20 and 13? This is 20 and 13 will be 10. 10.5, 11, 11.5, 12, 12.5, 13. This is a point. 
Next, 25 and 22. 25 is here. Then 22. 22 will be about 20. 21, 22. 30 and 29. 30 is here. And 29 will be here. 35 and 30. This is 35. This is 30. Now join these. So this is the freehand curve. Okay. Now to get the lower quartile, we need the 7.5th term. Okay. Where do we have 7.5? This is 5. 5.56, 6.57, 7.5. So this is here we have 7.5. Draw the line. From this point, draw a line perpendicular to the x-axis. So here we'll be having, and this point is 15.5, just next to 15, that is 15.5. So we got lower quartile Q1 is equal to 15.5. Next upper quartile will be 22.5. Okay, so here we have 20, 20, 20. 0.5, 21, 21.5, 22, 22.5. So this is a, where you need the line. Okay. Now from this point, draw a perpendicular to the x-axis. So this is a required perpendicular. And here it is 25.5. So upper quartile Q3 is equal to 25.5. Then what is the inter- Quartile range, interquartile range, we know is equal to Q3 minus Q1. And that is 25.5 minus 15.5, which is equal to 10. So our answer is, final answer is 10. Okay, lower quartile is equal to 15.5. Upper quartile is equal to 25.5 and interquartile range is equal to 10. Okay, how we have determined median using the graph? The same way we need to find what Q1 is and Q3 is. Clear? Now let us solve problems from exercise 24C. Here we have the first problem. Question 1 of exercise 24C. A student got the following marks in 9 questions of a question paper. 3, 5, 7, 3, 8, 0, 1, 4 and 6. Find the median of these marks. We have to find the median and this is our required data. Now what is N in this case? First find what N is. Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. N is equal to 9 and N is odd. Now the next step you have to arrange this in the ascending order or in the descending order. So the values are 3, 5, 7, 3, 8, 0, 1, 4 and 6. Okay. Let's arrange in the ascending order. Arranging. We'll start with. 0. 0 is the smallest value. Then comes 1. After that 3 is repeating 2 times. Put both the 3's. Then you have 4, 5. After that 6. Then 7. Then 8. Okay. Now count and confirm if you have written all the 9 values. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All the 9 values are there. Now, what is median? Here, n is odd. When n is odd, how to find median? You have to find n plus 1 by 2 term. Okay, put the value of n. n is equal to 9. 9 plus 1 by 2 term. 9 plus 1, 10 by 2. 10 divided by 2 term. What is 10 by 2? 10 by 2 is 5. So we need to find the fifth term. Fifth term. Where do we have the fifth term? First term, second term, third, fourth, fifth. So the fifth term is 4, which means the median is equal to. Median is equal to 4. Okay, so this is a median mark. Now just check this. 4. To the left you have 1, 2, 3, 4 values. Even to the right also we have 1, 2, 3, 4 values. Which means 4 lies in the middle. Clear? Median is equal to 4. This is a case of odd and therefore we have used n plus 1 by 2 term. Clear? 
नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम नंबर टू क्वेश्चन थ्री ऑफ एक्सरसाइज ट्वेंटी फोर सी द मार्क्स ऑप्टेन बाई नाइनटीन स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ अ क्लास आर गिवन बिलो ट्वेंटी सेवन थर्टी सिक्स ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी वन ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स थर्टी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर थर्टी सेवन थर्टी टू ट्वेंटी नाइन ट्वेंटी एट थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी फाइव ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी सिक्स थर्टी टू थर्टी फाइव एंड ट्वेंटी एट वी हैव टू फाइंड मीडियन लोअर क्वार्टाइल अपर क्वार्टाइल एंड द इंटर क्वार्टाइल रेंज ओके फर्स्ट लेट अस फाइंड मीडियन हियर व्हाट इज एन फाइंड एन एन इज इक्वल टू 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 सो so, एन वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू 19 एंड 19 इज अ ऑड नंबर ओके टू फाइंड मीडियन लोअर क्वार्टाइल अपर क्वार्टाइल और इंटर क्वार्टाइल रेंज यू हैव टू फर्स्ट अरेंज देम इन द असेंडिंग और डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर लेट्स अरेंज इन द असेंडिंग ऑर्डर व्हिच इज द स्मॉलेस्ट वैल्यू Here twenty two is the smallest value, so twenty two we have taken. Then do we have twenty three? We don't have twenty three. Then twenty four. Here we have a twenty four. Then we have a twenty five. Twenty five is appearing only once. After that twenty six. Twenty six once, twice. Okay, two times you have twenty six, twenty five, twenty six, twenty six. Then check for twenty seven. Twenty seven is appearing once, twice. Okay, twenty seven, twenty seven. Next twenty eight once, twice. Twice you have twenty eight. Next twenty nine is appearing once. Twenty nine. You don't have thirty. You have thirty one. Thirty one is appearing once. After that, you have thirty-two. One time, two times. Okay, so you have two times thirty-two, thirty-two, thirty-two. What about thirty-three? Here we have a thirty-three. So once you have thirty-three. Next, thirty-four. You don't have then thirty-five. One, two, thirty-five, thirty-five. Then thirty-six. One, two. Thirty-six, thirty-six, and then thirty-seven. So check if all the values have been taken. Now count and confirm if there is nineteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay. So arranging in the ascending order, you are getting nineteen. Now what is median? Median. First we have to find median for odd. Case median is equal to n plus one by two term. Here, what is n? N is equal to nineteen. Nineteen plus one divided by two term. Nineteen plus one is equal to twenty. Twenty by two ten. So we have to find the tenth term. So tenth term is our median. Count. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. So we got the value twenty nine. Here, median is twenty nine. Okay, we got the median. Now the second part, we have to find the lower quartile. Lower quartile is represented as Q one. How to find Q one in case of odd? N is equal to odd. What is the formula? N plus one divided by fourth term. N plus one divided by fourth term. Okay, put the n value. Nineteen plus one by fourth term. Nineteen plus one is twenty. Twenty by four is five. So we need to get the fifth term. Fifth term is the lower quartile. Count one, two, three, four, five. Fifth term is twenty six. So twenty six is your Lower quartile Q one is equal to twenty six. Next, the third part we have to find upper quartile. Find upper quartile. It is represented as Q three. How to find upper quartile? The formula is three into n plus one by fourth term. Okay, we know n plus one by fourth term is The fifth term, therefore, three into n plus one by fourth term will be equal to three into 
5 and that is 50. Just we will put the value and calculate 3 by 4 into 19 plus 1. Okay. Term. That is equal to 19 plus 1, 20. 20 by 4 is 5. 5 into 3 is equal to 15. 15th term. Here what is the 15th term? Count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The 15th term is 35. Okay. So we got 35 as the upper quartile. Q3 is equal to 35. Next we need to find the interquartile. How to find interquartile? Interquartile is equal to upper quartile minus lower quartile. What is the value of Q3? Q3 is equal to 35 minus Q1 is equal to 26. 35 minus 26 we get 9. Therefore interquartile is equal to 9. So we have determined what median is lower quartile, upper quartile and the interquartile range. Here interquartile range is equal to 9. Clear? Third problem, question 5 of exercise 24C. The ages of 37 students in a class are given in the following table. Ages are given and the frequencies are also given. Okay. Ages in years and the frequency. 11 years, 2, 12 years, 4, 13 years, 6, 14, 10, 15, 8 and 16, 7. We need to find the median. How to find? This is a case of tabulated data. In case of tabulated da data, Median is determined. First step, you need to construct the cumulative frequency table. You should be having age in the first column. Then you need the frequency in the second column. After that, cumulative frequency. Okay. So, the ages are 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. Then the frequencies 2, 4, 6, 10, 8, 7. How to find cumulative frequency? Keep adding. The first value will be 2. 2 plus 4, 6. 6 plus 6, 12. 12 plus 10, 22. 22 plus 8, 30. 30 plus 7, 37. Okay. Therefore, in this case, here it is already given 37 students, which means n is equal to 37. n is equal to 37. We need to find the median. How to find median now? In this case, n is an odd number. In case of odd numbers, how to find median? Yes, n plus 1 by 2 term. You have to determine the n plus 1 by 2 term. Here, n is equal to 37. Therefore, 37 plus 1 divided by 2 term. 37 plus 1, 38. 38 by 2 th term. 38 by 2. What is 38 by 2? 19. Therefore, we have to find the 19th term. Okay. Where do we have the 19th term? Here, check the cumulative frequency. Where does 19 lie? We know 19 lies between 12 and 22. 12 is less than 19. So, we have to take this part that is 22 and find the age which means from the 13th term to the 22nd term all the age will be 40. Okay? All the students will be having the age 40. Clear? Therefore, our median will be equal to median will be equal to 14. Understood? Since this is the 19 term, you should not consider this 12. You should consider the value which is greater than 19, which means the 22. And find the age which comes in this 22. That line you have to choose. Okay. Consider this row and find what the age is. So that age value will be the median. Clear? So this is a case of 
tabulated data. Next problem number 4, question 6 of exercise 24C. The weight of 60 boys are given in the following distribution table. Weight in kilograms and number of boys. 37 kg 10 boys, 37 kg 14 boys, 39 kg 18 boys, 40 kg 12 boys and 41 kg 6 boys. We need to find median, lower quartile, upper quartile and interquartile range. Okay. First to find median. Here what is n? n is equal to 60. We need to construct the cumulative frequency table. First column will be having weight. Second, you will be having the frequency that is number of boys. Then the cumulative frequency. Okay. Put the values. Weight 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. The frequencies are 10, 14, 18, 12, 6. Now the cumulative frequencies. Adding will be getting cumulative frequency. First 10. 10 plus 14 is equal to 24. 24 plus 18 will be equal to 42. 42 plus 12, 54. 54 plus 6, 60. Okay. So we got 60. And these are the cumulative frequency. Now first thing we have to find the median. How to find median? 60 is an even number. Okay. So in this case of tabulated data, you just need to take the n by 2 term. Okay. Do need to find n by 2 term plus n by 2 plus 1 term divide by 2 because here n by 2 term and n by 2 plus 1 term all will be the same because this is the tabulated data and we are using the cumulative frequencies. So n by 2 term here what is n? n is 60 divided by 2 term and that is the 30th term. We need to find the 30th term. Where does the 30th term come? Here we have 24 and 42. So 30th term will be lying between 24 and 42. Okay. So this 30 is greater than 24. So this cannot be considered. We have to consider this 42. Which means the 30th term will be 39. So from 25th term, 25th, 26th, 27th up to 42, the weight of the boys will be 39. All the boys will be having 39 kg. Therefore, here median is equal to 39. Okay. Median is 39. Next, the second one, we have to find the lower quartile Q1. How to find Q1? The formula will be N by 4th term. N by 4th term. 60 by 4th term. What is 60 divided by 4? You will be getting 15th term. Where do we have the 15th term? Between 10 and 24, right? 15 lies between 10 and 24. So we have to consider that is from 11th term. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All these terms will be having the weight. The boy's weight will be 38. Therefore, 15th term will be 38. Next, third one. The upper quartile Q3. Q3 will be equal to 3n by 4th term. 3n by 4th term. N value we know is 60. Okay. 3 into 60 divided by 4th term. What do we get? 60 by 4 is 15. 15 into 3, 45th term. 45th term. Where do we have the 45th term? Here we have 42. So 45 is greater than 42. Therefore, we have to take this 54. Okay. Which means the weight will be 40. Okay. 45th term, 40. Next, the fourth part, we have to find the interquartile range. Interquartile range is equal to Q3 minus Q1. Put the values. Q3 is 40 and Q1 is equal to 38. That is 2. So 2 is the interquartile range. Understood this? We have determined the median, lower quartile, upper quartile and interquartile range.
Okay. Next problem number five, question seven of exercise twenty-four C. Estimate the median for the given data by drawing a jive. Class and frequencies are given zero to ten, four, ten to twenty-nine, twenty to thirty, fifteen, thirty to forty, fourteen, forty to fifty-eight. Okay. So we have to draw a graph. So to draw a graph, first step is construction of a cumulative frequency table. Let's construct the cumulative frequency table. Here, the first column will be having class, second the frequency f, and then the cumulative frequency. Okay, so the class interval zero to ten, ten to twenty, twenty to thirty, thirty to forty, and forty to fifty. Okay, now the frequencies four, nine, fifteen, fourteen, eight. Next, the cumulative frequency. Add them to get the cumulative frequency. Four, four plus nine is thirteen. Thirteen plus fifteen, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight plus fourteen, forty-two. Forty-two plus eight, fifty. So these are the cumulative frequency. Okay, we got the cumulative frequency. Now here, what is the n value? N value is equal to fifty, which means it is an even number. Then what will be the median? Median will be equal to n by tooth term plus n by two plus one term divided by two. Here n by two, fifty by two is equal to twenty five. Twenty fifth term plus the very next term, twenty sixth term divided by two. Twenty fifth and twenty sixth term will be in the same interval. Yes. Twenty to thirty interval only it will be lying because here we have the thirteenth term and then the twenty-eighth term that is from the fourteenth term will be in the interval twenty to thirty. Okay, now let's draw the graph on the graph sheet. Mark the x-axis. X-axis on x-axis will be taking the class. Okay, then we have the y-axis. On the y-axis, we will be taking cumulative frequencies. Now here, check the values: zero to ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Up to fifty, we need. So let's take intervals of ten: zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Here on the x-axis, we are having. One centimeter is equal to ten units. Okay. Now what about the y-axis? We need values up to fifty. Fifty should be included. Again, here we can take the same thing: ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Here again, y-axis one centimeter is equal to ten units. So this is a required scale. Now plot the values for ten. The cumulative frequency is four on the x coordinate. X axis, x coordinate is ten. Upper limit and the y coordinate will be four. Next, twenty, thirteen, thirty, forty, twenty-eight, forty, forty-two, fifty, fifty. Okay, so ten four. X axis ten. Y axis four, so this is a point. Okay, here one, two, three, four. Next twenty and thirty. Here we have twenty. Where does thirteen comes? Here we have ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, twenty and thirty. Okay. Next thirty and twenty-eight. Here we have thirty. Twenty-eight will be just below thirty. Okay. This is thirty and twenty-eight. Next forty, forty-two. Here we have forty and forty-two. This is forty-two. Fifty, fifty. This is fifty. This is fifty. So here we have the point. Now draw a free hand curve. Okay. So we got the curve. Next, we need the twenty-five term plus twenty-six term divided by do that, which means that is in the same interval twenty to thirty. So somewhere between this twenty and thirty, we will be having our median. Okay, where do we have the twenty-five, twenty-six? So here we have one, two, three, four, five. This is twenty-five, and this is twenty-six. From there, we'll be drawing a straight line 
to meet the graph. Okay. So, at this point, the straight line meets the graph. From that point, draw a perpendicular to the x-axis. Okay. So, I am drawing a perpendicular to the x-axis and I get a point on the x-axis. Now, count. Here we have 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Okay. Then what is the median? Median is equal to 28. Okay. Does this 28 lie between 20 and 30? Yes, right. We will be having the median in between 20 and 30. That is sure because the median will be 25th term plus 26th term divided by 2. And this 25th and 26th term both lies in the same interval. 20 to 30. Clear? Next problem number 6. Question 8 of exercise 24C. By drawing an object, estimate the median for the following frequency distribution. Weight and number of boys are given. 10 to 15, 11. 15 to 20, 25. 20 to 25, 12. 25 to 35, 30 to 35, 2. Okay, the first step again, just like the previous question, we have to construct the cumulative frequency table. Here we have weight in the first column, second column, number of boys, which is the required frequency, and the third, cumulative frequency. So to find median, let it be the case of tabulated data or the group data, you need to find the cumulative frequencies. Okay, put the values 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25, 25 to 30 and 30 to 35. The frequencies are 11, 25, 12, 5, 2. Next cumulative frequency by adding you will be getting the cumulative frequency 11, 25 plus 11 is equal to 36, 36 plus 12, 48. 48 plus 5 is 53, 53 plus 2 is equal to 55. Then what is N? At the N what value you get for cumulative frequency is your N value. So N is equal to 55, which means N is odd. Then what is the median? 55 plus 1 divided by 2 the term. Okay, 55 plus 1, 56. 56 divided by 2 is 28. So, we need to find the 28th term. Okay, 28th term we have to find. So, let's plot the graph first. Here we have the x-axis and the y-axis. Okay, x-axis and y-axis. On the x-axis we are taking weight. And y-axis, we will be taking the cumulative frequency. Now, the required scale, let us take x-axis. 1 centimeter is equal to x-axis, it is a weight. 1 centimeter, let us take it as 5 kg. Okay, so the interval you can check 10 to 15. So, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, we can give. For that, 1 centimeter is taken as 5 kgs. For that, if we are starting with 10, you have to put this king mark here. Okay, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. We need up to 35. Then the frequencies, frequency the that is accumulated frequency, the maximum value is 55. So, 55 should be included. We will be taking the y-axis. 1 centimeter is equal to. To get 55, we can take 10 units. Okay, 1 centimeter represent 10 units. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60. Okay. Now, the values, here take the upper limit, upper limit is 15 and the cumulative frequency is 11. 15 is here and here we have 11. So, this is the point. Next, upper limit is 20, 36. 20 and 36. Here we have 20, 36 is between 30 and 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
here we have 36 this is the point okay next upper limit 25 and the cumulative frequency 48 where do we have this is 25 and 48 here we have 40 48 will be just below the 50 next 30 upper limit 30 and the cumulative frequency 53 30 53 53 is somewhere here okay next 35 and 55 35 is here 55 will be here now join to get a free hand curve okay we got the required curve here we need the 28 term. cumulative frequency 28 so draw a line from this 28 okay so here you will be getting now from this point you have to draw a straight line to the x-axis perpendicular to x-axis so this is the required straight line perpendicular to the x-axis okay now what is the value how to find the value here we have 15 so since the interval when you check it is 15 to 20 which means after 15 you will be having 60 between them you will be having 15.5 15 15.5 15, 15 16 16.5 17 17.5 18 18.5 19 19.5 and then 20 okay so here this value is 18.5 okay therefore the median in this case is equal to 18.5 okay we are getting median is equal to 18.5 understood problem number 7 question 10 of exercise 24 c here, here we have the last problem for today in a school 100 people have heights as tabulated below heights in centimeters the number of pupils are given 121 to 130 12 131 to 140 16 141 to 150, 30, 151 to 160, 20, 161 to 170, 14 and 171 to 188. Okay. We need to find the median height by drawing an okay. The first step is to create the cumulative frequency table. Before that, when you check this table, it is clear that here the upper limit of the first interval is 130 and lower limit of the second interval is 131. They are different. Okay, so this is an inclusive form. We have to first convert it into the exclusive form. To get the exclusive form, we'll have to add a number to the upper limit and subtract a number from every lower limit, which is the number. How to find the number? We have to take the difference of these. Okay, that is upper limit here you have 130 and the lower limit of the second is 131. So from the upper lower limit of the second interval, we have to subtract the upper limit of the first interval. What do we get? 131 minus 130. That is 1 divided by 2. You will be getting 0.5. So, subtracting 0.5 from all these lower limits and adding 0.5 to all these upper limits will give us the required interval. Okay. So, here we will be having height in the first column. Second column frequency, third column cumulative frequency. Okay, so what are the heights? Here 121 to 130 will become 120.5 to 130.5. Next 130.5 to 140.5. Then 140.5 to 150.5. 150.5 to 160.5. 160.5 to 170.5 and 170.5 to 180.5. Okay, now the frequencies 12, 16, 30, 20, 14 and 8. To find cumulative frequency adding 12. 12 plus 16, 28. 28 plus 30, 58. 58 plus 20, 78. 78 plus 14 is 92. 92 plus 8, 100. Okay, so we have the n is equal to 100 in this case. If n is equal to 100, what will be the median? Median, which term will be the median? We'll be having median equal to 
This is an even number. Therefore, n by 2 term will be taken because it is a case of a group data. n by 2 term that is 100 by 2, 50. 50 term will be median. So, here we have the graph. Let's plot the graph. X axis. Then y axis. On the x axis, we are taking height. Y axis will be taking cumulative frequency. Okay. Now we have to take the intervals. Here it is starting from 120.5. So let us take 120.5, 120 120.5, 140.5, 150.5, 150.5, 160.5, 170.5 and 180.5. Okay. So the x axis is 1 centimeter is equal to the units, 10 units. Okay, 10 units. Now we have to check this. Any values which comes before 120.5, we are not considering. We have to put the king mark here. Okay, now what about y axis? Up to 100, we need values. Okay, therefore, we'll be taking 1 centimeter is equal to 20 units. Okay, we are taking 1 centimeter, 20 units. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Okay. Now, taking the upper limit, 130.5, cumulative frequency is 12. 130.5, cumulative frequency 12. Where do we have 12? This is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. This is a point. Okay. Next. 140.5 is upper limit, 28 is a cumulative frequency. 140.5, 28, 22, 23, 24, 22, 24, 26, 28. So here you will be having. Okay. Next 150.5, 58. This is 150.5. Where do we have 58? Between 40 and 60. 42, 44, 46. 48, 50, we need 58. 58 is just below 60. Okay. We have taken 1 centimeter is equal to 20 units, which means the small box, the one part we will be having 2 units. Clear? Next 160.5 is 78. 160.5, 78 just below 80. Here. Next 170.5, 92. 170.5 is here. And 92 will be after 80, 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, 92. Next, 180.500. This is 180.5 and here we have 100. Now join them to get the required Ajay. Okay. Now we have the to find the 50th term, cumulative frequency 50. Here we have 40, 42, 44, 40. 6, 48, 50. So, draw a straight line now. So, this is the straight line. Okay. Now, draw the perpendicular from this point. Okay. So, here it is meeting. What is this point? We have 140.5. Then, next point will be 141.5. 142 143.5, 143.5, 145.5, 145.5, 146.5, 147.5 and this is 148.5. So, here the median is equal to, median is equal to 148.5. Okay, we have determined the median. I think we have done 3 to 4 question using the graphs, how finding the median using the graph. Okay. Hope you all have understood these questions. So, practice questions related to graphs. You should understand how to draw graphs, how to take the proper scales, how to plot the cumulative frequency. Only then you will be getting the perfect answer. Also, while taking these values, here you have to draw a straight line. Only then you will be getting the exact point. Okay. This perpendicular and this line should be straight lines. Using ruler, you have to clearly measure and draw this. Okay. 
That's all for today. In today's class, we have discussed about median, how to find the median of row data, median of tabular data, and median of group data, and how median can be determined using graphs. Hope you all enjoyed this session. We have solved many questions from exercise 24C. There are a few more questions left which you can solve on your own. I'll be back in the next session. Until then, stay tuned to Learn Hub. Learn Hub free hai, par best hai. Thank you.